member of the Kiwana Bay Indian community, but I do want to let you all know that I'm not officially representing the community. I'm just a tribal member who's really passionate about these issues. Um, and currently I'm working for the tribe as well on these issues. Um, so to start, I wanted to first talk about, um, give an update of what's happening within the Lost Indian Reservation with regard to mining activities. Uh, just Thursday morning, uh, myself and Chuck Bermelevy, if you want to raise your hand, the Kiwana Bay Indian Community Mining Specialist, and Aaron Johnson, who is the Lake Superior Program Coordinator for the tribe, um, went out to um, for an informational site visit on the reservation for where Kennecott Eagle Minerals Company has, or not Eagle, Exploration, has some property within the reservation, or mineral rights, and also they own the land there. And it's a prospective big site that we were aware of, but there was an activity there that we knew of within a couple of years. So we wanted to um, see the area because we were going to be compiling a baseline environmental quality study for the area to be prepared if there was any interest there. And we came across active mineral exploration by Rio Tinto Kennecott on the reservation. Uh, and we stumbled across um, a recent drill site which was labeled number 54. So it means that they're pretty well into um, exploration activities, if I'm correct. Um, so it's something that is a new, new threat that we sort of have to sort of raise awareness in the community. Um, the Kiwana Bay Indian community has been involved with efforts with the Eagle Mine in Marquette County, but um, now we have more immediate threats right within our reservation, um, very close to the, the village of Wams. Um, so I wanted to give that update, and I have um, some maps if anybody's interested, so I could sort of show where this area is as well. Um, so I also wanted to talk a bit about um, treaty rights. Um, I'm sure some of you guys are at least a little familiar with treaty rights. Um, so as Native people, we have the activity of gathering um, wild rice or hunting or fishing, gathering medicines, is a very central, integral part of our culture. And it's so important that our ancestors, when they were signing the treaties with the federal government, that they never gave those rights away, because it's so important to us. So those are legal documents that were signed between our former leaders and the US government that still exist today. Now, they haven't been honored um, like, as they should, but they are legal documents and tools that could be used to protect those resources. And leading Native American legal scholars advise that they could be used to protect the Great Lakes. 